stadium that was built in 300 BC and rebuilt in 1896 for the very first modern Olympics. Now I'm no Olympic athlete but I have a passion for running and I always have. You know since age 14 I've run 61,000 miles in my life and my goal is to complete three laps around the world. Each lap takes me about 17 years and I think if I can run 30 miles a week for the next 10 years, I can complete that third lap. So many memories. You know, I, I think back of my time in high school, running cross country, you know, running college at WVU, I, runs with my dad, kind of gets me a little emotional. And, and, you know, I've run everywhere I've been around the world. You know, running is, is, is just special to me. And today I, I can't help but reflect when I'm in such an iconic place about all the runners that were that came here before me that competed here and all I can say is hats off to you. We're John and Beth and we are the retirement travelers. Problems find us. <laughs> they always find us. So my camera actually has a microphone on it. And because it has this little microphone, they said that I cannot have it on in the Acropolis. So our GoPro will have to use it. They said that the only reason is it looks like we are professionals. And, I, I, and even though we assured them we are yeah, far from professional. I, I told them that we are about as unprofessional as you can get. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't work. We are going to keep going. That's right. We're going to start the long journey up the hill and we're going to show you the Acropolis, the Parthenon and all the really cool sights. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. We meet the coolest people, especially people who like to travel. Oh my goodness. Our shirts do it every time. I know they're as ugly as I'll get out, but... Hey, speak for yourself. Hey, check this place out. This is where they used to go and watch, you know, drive-in movies and stuff. They... You think so? Yeah. Wow. So we're going to give you the tour of the Acropolis from two people who know nothing about this today. Pretty much. Everybody wants to tune in for that. They do. We came to Greece and we really didn't know as much mythology, as many history facts as we should have known. We've been reading up. But there, there is a lot to Greek mythology and history. There is. A lot to learn. The Acropolis was first started back in the 4th or 5th century BC. It's amazing that the, the Parthenon and the these structures are still standing. They, these, these guys were some incredible architects and builders. So once again, we find ourselves going uphill significantly. 
Uh, but the Acropolis is a, a big hill. This is not the only Acropolis in, in Greece. Acropolis means kind of high city. There's many places all over the country where they built up on the highest part of the city. It's an Acropolis for that town. And the most famous building on this Acropolis is the Parthenon, which we will be showing you shortly. Well, we found the crowds. We found the crowds. This is, this is the busiest place in Athens, no doubt. I wonder why. Wonder why everyone wants to see this. I live a lifetime every moment when I'm holding you close. Lay your head down on my shoulder. Honey, I won't ever let go. Because you pulled me like a magnet. Now I'm right where I belong. I'm gonna love you the same for the rest of my days and on and on and on. So the line to get down it is, is as long as the line to get up. I don't think there's a skip the line on the way down. No, I don't think so either. But that is a good tip. Buy your ticket ahead of time so you can skip the line. Well, and actually they told us to get here at 8 o'clock in the morning and we disobeyed them. Because <laughs> we don't follow the rules? We don't follow the rules. Ah, uh, we gotta work on that. Wow, Parthenon's pretty amazing. Wow, it's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It is. Wow. So you can kind of see how they made the columns. Um, they're, they're stacked in pieces. I, it's, I'm sure that's the only way they could get them up here. Uh, it's a big, a big hill, and I don't think they had all the lifting equipment that they do today, so. And they probably built all the scaffolding out of wood. Oh, I'm sure. How did they lift anything with wood? I'm sure they used, uh, you know, a pulley system and and uh, figured it out. I don't rope. Know. How does rope. rope hold up under that? Well, it's a great question. <laughs> so if we could only go back and ask them. And ask them. You know, the older we get, the more we kind of think of the value of being able to. Go back in time. Go back in time. Time we travel. We want to be the retirement time travelers. Oh, that yeah. Would, that would be cool. That would be kind of cool. Just snap our fingers and we're at 447 BC. That would be kind of cool. Well, it kind of feels like that right now. It does feel like it. Maybe we could take a, hitch a ride on one of the space rockets that are going up right now. You know, they're taking people. Back, you think? In, back in time? No, no, forward, like oh. into outer space. Oh, yeah, I'd like Have to you thought about it. Jeff Bezo Bezos's, you know, or Elon Musk? Yeah. Maybe they would let us hitch a ride. Well, I'll give them a I call. I mean, like for free. I'll give them a call tonight and see what would we can do. Would you do that? I'd do that. You'd Go do into it? Space, yeah. You'd be, you'd be really the retirement traveler. Retirement traveler in hey, space. Hey, Elon. Hey, Jeff. Hey, we're here. Send us up. We're here. We'll do it for free. Yeah, for free. We'll vlog it. Yeah, you don't even have to pay us. No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a hoot? <laughs> That's the kind of thing that only dreams are made out of. Oh, but no. you got to dream. You got to dream big. I can barely get in an airplane. There's no uh, way in heck I could get in a spaceship. <laughs> Well, I get I get seasick. I'd probably get space sick too. I bet you would. Yeah. They'd have put you through a lot of training. They would. You have to learn how to splash down like that's, you're a Navy SEAL. That's and right. I'll that. say, excuse me, I need to take my Dramamine before I get in the <laughs> spaceship. We're old. We can do this. He wanted to do this. Oh. Uh. Okay. Okay, you're gonna come over this way a little more. Okay, hold it there. Back up just a little. You're gonna come over about. Uh, right there. So hard to get these. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you got, we appreciate yeah. it. Okay, Thank you. Well, we tried. Yeah. So in 1687, the Parthenon got bombed and was actually totally destroyed. And in the early 1900s, they rebuilt it, but they used iron reinforced concrete and clamps and it didn't expand and contract the same and it actually damaged it uh, structurally. So in the mid 1980s, they started a new restoration process using the original methods with marble and trying to put the Parthenon back to its original glory. It's looking pretty good. You know what this is doing for me? Making your legs tired? No, it's making me hungry. Oh, can I tell them where we're going? Sure. Next stop after the Acropolis, we are going to the Athens yeah. Street Food Stop Festival. Yay! And it's one, it happens every May. It runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, each weekend in May. And uh, we're gonna go check it out. There's food from all over the world, uh, street food. So we have a plan. I am watching the stuff and John is getting the food. I really don't care what he brings back. 
I told him to get whatever he thought and whatever looked good, so we'll see what he brings. Berkshire by the fire. People laughing and the baby smiling. Sun's up in the food queue. People doing what they be doing. Go ahead and double dutch. Sitting on the front porch. Don't let nobody change your mood. Be sure to hit subscribe and follow along on our retirement journey around the world.